Hey there, scientist Amanda with another Do Science at Home moment with the Kentucky Science Center. Today we are talking about birds. Spring is a great time of the year to look at birds because there's so many of them flying around making nests and gathering food and pretty soon you'll start seeing some baby birds too. Now there, because there's so many different types, um, we have a bunch of those skull, skulls here to look at the different shapes. And even though these are all birds, they all look extremely different. And that's because each of the birds that these skulls represent eats different types of food. So you wouldn't see a spoonbill, for instance, go in and try to suck nectar out of a flower the way you might see a hummingbird do, because that's just not what they eat. These spoonbills actually live near the water and use these big flat bills to catch fish out of the water. Now the activity we're doing for at home today is mimicking the way some of these birds eat using tools we have at home. So over here we have a variety of settings of how birds can get food. We have some food and water that's perfect for the spoonbill. And so what I'm using today is a pair of tongs that kind of have a scoop on it. If you don't have that, that's fine. You can also use any other kind of spoons together to try to scoop up different kinds of food. And they can just scoop in and now it has a tasty treat. Now a fun part of this activity is testing these different beaks and seeing how they can get food from the other sources as well. I'll leave that to you to try at home. Now we mentioned the hummingbird in, in opposition to this big spoon bill. We actually have a teeny tiny hummingbird skull right here. You can see it's smaller than a quarter. Now a lot of people are familiar with hummingbirds. They know that they eat ha nectar out of flowers. Um, that's why they have this very long bill. Fun fact though, they can actually open that bill and eat insects, even though the nectar remains their primary source of nutrition. Now, a way to mimic that is just with a straw. That spoon bill wouldn't be able to fit its bill in this little hole, so we have the hummingbird with the straw able to suck that nectar up. Now, most of the birds that you see are going to be picking seeds off the ground or worms out of the dirt. And a good tool to mimic those beaks is a clothespin. So we can see here, there's actually different types of seeds on this tray. Um, and it's interesting to see which seeds are easier to pick up with this kind of bill and which ones are more difficult. And then the last example that I have here today is the woodpecker. Now it has a uniquely shaped beak that is able to wedge into wood, splits it open so they can get to the insects inside. And it's very long so that they can reach way back in those crevices that they make. So we have some tweezers to represent the woodpecker. Over here I have a tube that has different kinds of food down in it. We have some pipe cleaner representing worms. So we can see if we can use our tweezers to get that out and how successful we are at that. I encourage you to try different tools, see what other tools match or mimic some of the birds that you see. Now, another fun activity you can do at home is to make your own bird feeder. We have one here that we've already made. I'm gonna show you how to make that. Now its core is just a toilet paper tube or a paper towel roll. What I've done is I've punched a few holes in the top with my hole puncher. If you don't have one of these, you can use scissors. And I've smeared peanut butter all over it. This is going to help the bird seeds stick to it. So all I'm going to do now is roll that through the bird seed to get it to stick. You might want to roll it a few times so you cover all that peanut butter and give them as many seeds as you can. And then once your peanut butter is completely covered, you can tie a string through your holes and then go and hang this up outside. Now, we would love for you to share any of the birds that you see in your backyard with us. So take some pictures, make some observations, and share those with us um, on social media. Thanks for joining us.